What's up? What's up, everybody? It's time for another episode of the Meta Team series, the series in which we are here on my Asia server alt account, and we are building all of the most popular, fast, consistent dungeon teams. So today we are tackling Giants B12. So you can see here is the current Giants B12 team. We got a Lucian, we got a Crow for the damage, we got a Fran and a Lauren for the support, we got a Shannon for the support as well. We have a one minute fit. This was actually a kind of a long time for this specific run, but. Uh, it is not a fast team. So today we are going to be building. I'm going to show you guys the team that we're going to be building. We're going to keep the Lucian in there, actually, because he's going to clear the waves. Um, but in addition to the Lucian, we're going to take in... We don't have all this stuff second awaken just... Is that the Melia that we're going to use, really? We're going to take in a Soth. Soth does, uh, doubles the continuous damage on the enemy team. We're going to take... We have two Melias in here somewhere. I promise. We have two Melias in here. I don't know where the other one is. I swear to you, we have two Melias, and we're going to do a uh, tattoo. So, continuous damage, continuous damage here. This is going to clear the waves. The continuous damage is going to clear the bosses. Um, extra continuous damage and also doubles the continuous damage. Tattoo will explode the continuous damage. Here is the... I told you guys, we're not even anywhere close to being ready for the team, but that's the whole point of the video, is we're going to go through and we're going to build the team. So, for right now, let's go first. We have... So that's the team, just to show you guys. We have this Soth. We have him already ready to be second awakened, which is good, because if we didn't, this would take days and days and days and days to fill up the second the dimension hole energy, right? So, ooh, what is his runes? Oh, <laughs> those are wonderful runes, guys. Wonderful runes. So we're going to second awaken Soth. Actually, if we second awaken him, we can't show the team that we use to farm with him for second awakening so let's let's show that now so here's a sample team for cauldron remains floor five to second awaken the fire grim reaper so i want to do i was actually using a different team when i was running this to second awaken him and if you guys can't do uh level five do level four much easier um but i was using instead of this i was using wusa immunity is very strong here wusa is very strong wusa and velajul both very strong here, right? Uh, so I was using uh, Wusa, and I was using Bellinus. Bellinus has two AoEs. He's got an AoE defense break. He's got some continuous damage. Continuous damage, and also I have him on Despair, so he was doing some crowd control as well. Uh, so that's really nice. I was trying to figure out a nice team for you guys that have things that you may use. Uh, if you want to try Tricaro, or not, not, not Tricaro, because you have to use one of each different type of unit, right? So we have a defense unit here, we have an HP unit here, we have a support unit here, and we have an attack type unit here. So you can't like speed run with all a bunch of attack type units, they have to be one of each kind. So I wanted to do a team that you guys could replicate, right? Uh, some people have the Fire Panda, some people don't, but this is a nice use for the Fire Panda. We're doing it in test mode, because he already has enough, uh, uh, enough XP to be second awakened. But uh, yeah, if you have Wusa, if you have Velajul, fantastic units here, definitely use those units, right? Super premium units for here, the, the, anything that has a whole lot of immunity. So the reason that we're using the uh, Fran is for the immunity. The reason that we're using uh, Vigor is because he's an HP tank, an HP classified uh, unit that a lot of people have, right? Uh, we're using the Grim Reaper because we have to use the Grim Reaper, so that means we can't use any other attack type units, uh, which is a bummer, but we can't use any attack type units. I love Spectra here. I love Spectra and everything in the Dimension Hole, but we can't use uh, Spectra because we can only use... It, it, it was going to have to be a choice between Spectra or Fran and... Excuse me, and immunity is very strong. So again, if you have Velajul, I would recommend uh, Velajul and Spectra would be beautiful here, actually. So, um, yeah, and then the Panda, because the Panda has a cleanse, the Panda has a uh, regen, the Panda has a few debuffs for the boss, so that should be pretty nice. But again, you don't have to use it. You can use uh, Ikaru, but Ikaru is not going to be as reliable, because Ikaru has the team up, and he's a defense break. But he doesn't have, like, that extra source of cleanse. He doesn't have that extra source of heal. He doesn't have those extra debuffs. The, the glancing debuff and the other debuffs are kind of nice against the boss, right? So. Look at all those dots. Oh, my God. And I switched the Grim Reaper to Despair just to give some extra CC for these waves over here. Look at all those dots. Too many dots. Stop doing so many dots. I don't think we really CC too much with the uh, Despair on the Grim Reaper, though in this particular run. 
But yeah, it's it's pretty nasty when the boss does his continuous damage and then does the um, does the CC on your team, right? Works great when you use it in TOA Hell or or TOA Hard, but uh, as soon as the boss uses it on you, not not so fun. So we have immunity. And we also have a cleanse. So there we go. You know what? You don't need to see my face here. We could just uh, take this off, and I'll sh and you can see the rest of the run. Not super fast, but I was trying to use things that you guys actually may have, and we can only use one attack type. You know, of course, if we had him, um, if we had Veljul, that'd be even better. We could use uh, Veljul Spectra instead of this, and then if we had him uh, six star, then that would be even better. Let's do. Uh, let me show you guys the runes on all this stuff, though, because I'm sure you appreciate uh, seeing the runes. Uh, speed, HP, and accuracy. We could just do speed, HP, HP. It doesn't really matter. Uh, to have him survive longer, this is just on speed, HP, HP. I mean, some of the runes are great. <laughs> some of the, he got some skill-ups into him, too. Not anything super insane. Uh, this guy is... He's actually pretty fast. He's actually pretty fast. Speed, HP, HP. Kind of on the fast side. If you can't do uh, B5, that's fine. Just do B4, right? It's going to be it's gonna be easier. They're going to have less stats. So it's going to definitely be uh, easier to do that one. Speed, HP, HP. It'll just take you like another like day, right? Day worth of uh, Dimension Hole energy. So it's not the end of the world. It's better to just do that than like let it go to waste. Like, oh, I can't do B5. I'm not going to do it at all. Just do B4. Don't let the energy go to waste. That's basically, uh, that's basically the thing. So uh, there we go for that. And again, I was using a little bit of a different team. I was using Bellinus and Wusa and something. Bellinus, Wusa, and what else was I? I don't even remember what the last one that I was using was. But Bellinus, Wusa, and something else for when I was uh, running. Oh, maybe I was doing this. I might have, I might have done this, and it was uh, faster. But not everyone has Bellinus, Wusa, right? And Veljul is another. Like I said, Veljul is another nice one. Now onto the Fire Pixie Second Awakening Dungeon, and what I'm about to say is going to be very controversial, and I know I will get attacked for this. I would recommend to not even sweat about B5. Here's the reason, and this is this is kind of like a just for this dungeon situation that I would say to not even worry about B5 because you have to, with Fire Pixie for this dungeon, you have to use all fire units. So you have to beat a water dungeon with all fire units. Yes, it can be done, but you're gonna rip your head out, rip, rip your head, rip your head, rip your hair out trying to do uh, fire units in a water pixie dungeon. It's gonna be very frustrating. Yes, you can do it. It's If you can do it, it's gonna be slow and you're gonna need much better runes than you probably have. So I would recommend, instead of trying to do a water dungeon with all fire units, to just save yourself some headache. Just do the, the one floor down. It's wind. It's so much easier. I know I'm gonna get attacked for it. I don't care. It's such a, it's a definite, it, you just spend one more day worth of dimension hole energy. It's not the end of the world. And it's, it's just going to make your life so much less miserable. So, we don't even... I think we have her, like, two-starred or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's just... Honestly, my honest opinion is it's not worth uh, stressing out over a B5 water dungeon with fire units, right? So, again, it can be done, but most people don't have the runes to really do it well. And even if you do, it's going to be... Uh, I think you need a lot of immunity for that, too. If I recall correctly, so like again, Veljul. I think that's the, another situation where like Veljul is super OP if you have it. But uh, I would just say just do do before. So let's uh, let me take my face off, and then you guys can just see. But it's super easy. Just do these three units, and then 
super easy, super cheesy, super fast. Don't have to worry too much about anything. Oh yeah, let's uh, make sure that we are on that. And let me take my face off so you guys could uh, <laughs> enjoy it more. I already know this video is gonna get a thousand dislikes, but I'm just being honest. That's my that's my honest recommendation. So here are the root. It's not anything too. Look at this. Not e not anything too crazy at all. Attack or damage attack. Not even maxed or anything. Look at this. Uh, she's got the leader skill as well, so we have that extra crit rate. These runes are not we've got no skill ups into here. Speed crit. Not anything exciting, guys. Not anything you can. This is speed, and he has that low of speed. So. Obviously, we maybe it's not obvious. We ruined this uh, quite a long time ago, and again, this is here on the uh, Asia Server Alt over here. You can see Asia Server Alt. We do need to go through and re-rune this, um, but he just ruined as a standard DPS unit, and this is just like make him fast, give him good crit damage, and give him good uh, good enough accuracy. Not anything too crazy. We do have this skilled up. We were using this for dragons before we had the Tricaro team, but you can see it's not anything too amazing, right? It's just just do before you have uh, mediocre poo poo runes and you'll be you'll be just fine. A lot of people have these units built already, so it's not the end of the world and so much less stress. Or you could just do twins. You just do fire twins or whatever. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to continue to run. Yes, I'm going to continue to run before. I don't even care. Uh, I'm going to continue to run before with this and then we're going to second awaken the tattoo. I think she also doesn't have skills. It would actually help if we upgraded her before we ran these dungeons. Like if we five and six starred these units before we ran these dungeons. Because right now she's just at nothing. She's uh, she's on uh, three stars with no runes and no skill ups. It just helps. Not really that much, but it just uh, it just helps a little bit anyway. So let's uh, second awaken her. Let's skill her up. I'm going to show the next time that I'm going to show this. It's going to be the next day, and we will be building. I hope that we have. Okay, we do have enough stuff to awaken uh, Melia, the two Melias. We're going to six star everything. We're going to have to pop an XP booster and stuff. We're going to six star everything. Um, yeah, let me. I think we have some scrolls too to do. All right, guys, it's day two now. Are you ready for the frustration? Because we're about to get very, very frustrated. We are ready to second awaken both our units, so let's do that. That's not the frustrating part. The frustrating part is trying to get Lucian with these runes on this account to do enough damage to clear waves, which I... We're going to try. We're going to try, guys. Nothing has runes yet, by the way. We're going to wait to rune things, uh, and I'll explain why. So, uh, yeah, I don't know that Lucian is even going to be anywhere close to one-shotting waves, but that is, <laughs> that is the game plan. Where's, uh, oh, he's not completely max level. That's fine that he's not completely max level. Um, here we go. We are max skills on everything. Yeah, there we go. Very nice, very nice. He was already, uh, he already had enough XP to awaken, like, we could awaken him yesterday or whatever. So he was uh, ready to go. Both of these are six starred. We six starred both of them. We also have two. Oh, we have to awaken Melia's. This is the this is super exciting part, right, guys? Okay, we don't we, we don't need to we don't need to do this too long, right? We got to awaken the Melia's. We don't have any runes on anything. The first thing that I want to do is see how close we are. I really hope that we can get him there with some fight sets. I don't know, but I I, I really hope that we can. Uh, and then the rest of the runes will come after that, right? So let's do a test run. Test, test run. Uh, let's do a test. Uh, which one is this? I built a second one. So this is not the one that we're going to use. The one that we're going to use is... Hang on, get two Lucians. Yeah. Is that, that's, no, I'm just clicking on the same one. So this is the Lucian that we're going to use. He is... I mean, the attack is not bad. The speed, I think we can get away with this speed. Uh, the crit damage is the big thing here. The crit damage is the big glaring, oh my god, that's not enough crit damage. So we're going to see how much more we need. And how much more fight sets we can maybe squeeze out of here. It's going to be painful, isn't it? I don't, I'm, I'm not saying we can do it. I'm just curious how far away we are. All right, so let's... Uh, Oh, he does have runes. Never mind. Okay, so. Moment of truth, guys. 
I think we can make this happen. I think we can make this happen, guys. Okay. So, I think we can make this happen. So here's, uh, that's, 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 that's not, that's not impossible. So we're not as super far away as I really thought we were. So we have four units that we can stick fight sets on, because nothing has runes on it just yet. So, uh, the game plan, actually, I, I wrote out the game plan. So here's the game plan for this. Uh, test Lucian damage, which we did. See how many fight sets we need, which I already explained. Make Tattoo the slowest, right? So we're going to rune Tattoo up. We're going to put some uh, fight runes on Tattoo. We're going to rune her the slowest. we got to make sure she's fast than the enemy still, right? So she, so that the, the enemy teams don't move before her. So she's detonate. She doesn't really need anything, to be honest. Tattoo doesn't really need... She doesn't need... The accuracy works nicely for, like, her skill 2. She's got a dot on skill 2. But the skill 3 doesn't need accuracy, right? So we just need to make her slowest. We can stick some fight sets on her. Um, after that, we're gonna make Melia a little bit faster, one of the Melias, a little bit faster. She does need good accuracy, we're gonna just pump her full of accuracy, we'll probably do accuracy slot, uh, 6 on her. Uh, then we're gonna make Soth a little bit faster, so we're, there's a few different ways we can do this team. The way we're doing it is one Melia, super, super, super fast, she's actually gonna move before the, actually, since she's moving before the Lucian, she's gonna do a little bit of damage, and... Lucian may not need that many fight sets, because we're going to have a tiny bit of damage before the Melia moves. But, uh, she's basically going to cycle. Uh, she's going to get the first turn, be really, really, really fast. The, the second Melia, the super, super fast Melia. You don't have to do it like this specifically. There's other ways to do it. You could do, like, violent stuff too. But this one is, uh, this was actually done by Tiggy. And Tiggy is responsible, the Japanese player, he's responsible for a lot of the meta stuff, right? So, uh, we're gonna basically go by, uh, by his recommendations. So, Melia, one speed faster than the Tattoo, uh, 85 plus percent accuracy. Soth, one speed fast, at least one speed faster than Melia, 85 percent plus accuracy, because both of those need to land their dots. Uh, Lucian, faster than Soth, big damage. Uh, Melia, number two, super fast to double cycle and 85 plus percent accuracy. So, we're gonna try, we're probably gonna stick accuracy on slot six for a bunch of stuff. I don't know how many uh, fight sets we necessarily have on this, but we're gonna go in that order of ruining Tattoo up first, uh, to make sure, well, I keep losing this Tattoo, man. <laughs> keep losing this Tattoo. Okay, I do actually have a sheet to show you guys. Is it this number? That's the number. So this is Tiggy, uh, the Japanese player that, um, that comes up, I think he came up with Tricaro too, if I recall correctly. He came up with Tricaro, he does a couple other, uh, meta teams, interesting stuff. Um, but this is... Uh, just a sheet if you guys want to screen cap it or whatever. That's a sheet showing the speeds that you need for all the different units. Very, very helpful. Again, this is all his stuff. A lot of us just go by. A lot of us just copy his stuff. Because he's, he's, uh, he's basically builds a lot of the interesting meta teams that happen to work. He's he also has crazy runes though too. Uh, so a lot of the things that he does is like... It works because he's got crazy runes and then he tries to like see what the lowest rune requirements uh, available uh, or that we or that people would need uh, would be. So let's take a look at the fights. I really hope we have fight runes guys. I really hope 24 fight runes. We might have some fight sets on some stuff here. You know what? That's, I feel like we can work with some of this stuff. I feel like we can work with some of this stuff. It's not amazing fight runes. Maybe we got some speed and accuracy and Defense and HP and okay, I think we have I think we can make something happen. I was hoping we had some accuracy um, But we could do like double fight and something with accuracy I Might want to roll some of these to see how they roll But basically we just for the most part we need to make sure that they're speed tuned and we need to make sure that Lucian has enough damage To uh, to actually clear wave. So I'm going to ruin this up uh, I'm gonna cry and you know rip my hair out. I do have hair by the way go check my Instagram uh, I should probably plug that, shouldn't I? Uh, anyway, we're gonna ruin this stuff up, and then we're going to see what, uh, we could put maybe some violence on some stuff. One belly is gonna have to be on Swift, so she's not gonna have that, uh, fight thing. These don't need to be six-starred, um, so we should be good on that, but we'll see what we, he's gonna be, we're gonna take him off this, we're probably gonna put him on, uh, probably gonna put him on violent, we'll see. Um, and then we will come back and we'll see how everything a lot of a lot of me saying we'll see We'll see how everything is all right guys. We got everything ruined up You know, this is not gonna work right it never works right the first time then you got to tweak it You got to change it So one thing a lot of people like to do is they like to put double will 
on some of these units. If we have to go double will, we'll go double will. I'm trying to do it super lazy way, super lazy way and not go double will. But if we have to, we will wind up switching to that for survivability and we'll see. We'll just test it out like this and we'll see. So here is um, the tattoo. She doesn't have crazy high accuracy. She's got 24% accuracy. She's got 44 speed. So keep that in mind, 44 speed. If we go back to uh, Tiggy's uh, little sheet that he came up with, uh, 44 speed over here. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you guys can see. So 44 on tattoo means um, the, the, the plus 44, right? That's what it's uh, going by. 52 on Melia, 67 on Soth, 53 on Lucian, and then we need 180 on the uh, on this this second Melia, right? So plus plus 180, which is that means we gotta have her on Swift or some crazy speed subs, right? Let's just be real. We got to have her on Swift. So here are the, uh, so it's 44. Uh, and then we have, we said we needed 52 on Melia. Where's Melia? Oh, Melia's five star, right? So uh, we got 52. We got exactly 52 on Melia. Uh, for Soth, we need 67. So we have exactly 67 on Soth. Also, these guys have a high accuracy. Can you guys see? Yeah, you can see. So we have exactly 67 on Soth. Uh, and then we needed 53 on Lucian, and we have, I changed it, so he has exactly 53 on Lucian, and then we have, uh, we needed 180 on the second melee, and we have exactly 180 on the second melee. Everything has over 85% accuracy, so let's take a look and let's see. You know it's not gonna work, right? Like it's, like it's supposed to, right? You know it's not gonna work. Everything is, is good according to the chart. Something's gonna happen, right? Something, the worst case scenario is gonna happen right here. I have not tried this yet. Uh, so, let's see. Let's just do it. Let's just see, let's just see. Actually, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's not do it like this. Let's, oh, okay, good. Uh, so we have, this is the plus 180. Let's say she does this. Do we have enough fight sets? Oh, we did, we did put some fight. We did not have enough fight sets to actually get this. How, eh. We need some more damage from him, right? So... Tattoo is actually way too fast. That's the issue that we're seeing right now. Tattoo is actually way too fast. Okay, so we have to make everything fast. This is... This is the speed according to the sheet. Do we not have the correct uh, tower? Do we not have the max? We do have the max speed tower. It's the speed according to the sheet. I told you guys it wasn't going to be correct. So, or, 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 or not that the sheet wasn't going to be correct, but I told you guys something was going to go wrong. So we're going to have to tweak this and we're going to have to re-speed tune this to make sure that we're going to have to make the Melias and everything faster. We're going to have to make Soth faster. We're going to have to make Melia faster. Everything is correct. Everything is correct. So 44. So 44 on Tattoo. Again, we're, we're, we're doing exactly the thing that it says on the sheet. 44 on Tattoo. Uh, 52 on Melia, 67 on Soth. Yep, everything is the same. So we're just gonna make them faster. Uh, 52 and 67, and we got the 180 on here. So we're gonna continue to make them faster until uh, they are what they need to be. We'll see how crazy, like if it's just one speed faster or if it's like a few speed faster, we'll see. You know what, before we, before we tweak the speed, I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm just curious if we do this, if we do, uh, if we do this, and then we do this, and when we do uh, this, let's see, let's see if that makes a difference, the, uh, the actual order here, right? So let's see, we got one of these, we got one of these, it did make a difference, okay, yeah, I kind of figured that was going to be the case, I just wanted to check. I just wanted to check, and then that's the second, uh, that's the second one, so, uh, there we go. So we were not able to just one-shot the wave, which is the unfortunate thing, um, it's fantastic, isn't it, right? Okay, so we got that, we got the, uh, the mid-boss down. Do we have an amputation magic or no? We do have an amputation magic, we got one of these, we got one of these. She's got one of those, okay. Fantastic. We got a dot. We got uh, not too much. Okay, we got some more dots. Fantastic. And then she explodes everything. And now we're rank one in Shine Scheme, even though we started it off paused. So the team works. 
I love, I love that we actually got to see that changing, because I think that's very important to show people that changing the placement of the units, if they're like the same speed, changing the placement of the units actually can change, because it was correct. The sheet that he had was correct, but it was so tight. It was so tight that we just had to change the order of where they are. Some of you guys that are like early game are going to be mind blown. You're going to be like, holy crap, I didn't even realize that. So, uh, yeah, very interesting. We do need to, fantastic, we do need to pump some more damage. Uh, you know what, let's just try this again. This one's gonna fail miserably, right? We do need to, to get some more damage out of this Lucian, but now that we have a better time, or now that we have a better Giants team, then we're gonna be able to do much better here. Right, let's see, maybe she, uh, I think if she violent procs once, it should be fine here, actually. No, she didn't violent proc. And this is one of the reasons that people like to do will runes for for something like this, right? For this for this situation. So, yep, yeah, it's looking good so far. We got an amputation magic. We got uh, he does one of his little things. As soon as they take some damage, they're gonna be dead. I mean, it's not it's not super fast the way we have it currently, but uh, I mean, it's it's decently fast. But as soon as that's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. As soon as we pump some more damage out of that Lucian, 47 seconds, right? As soon as we pump some more damage out of that Lucian, we're going to be able to clear waves. Also, we don't have the towers maxed for... This is this is fantastic. We don't have the towers maxed for the wind damage. We do have some of the, t the damage towers maxed. We have the Fallen Ancient Guardian uh, maxed on here. We have the Sky Trap Totem. So these numbers, these numbers that uh, from Tiggy's sheet are, are uh, based on, I think it even says on the sheet, it's based on the, uh, yeah, the Sky Tribe Totem being maxed. So, uh, I will leave a link to the sheet. Crystal Altar really doesn't matter too much for this. Ancient Sword is, you know, to, to make sure that Lucian does the maximum damage. Because it's really just about me. Oh, let me show you guys the actual runes too. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna laugh. You're gonna have a laugh, guys. Uh, this is going to help Lucian. I, I bet if we don't even change the runes, we just upgrade this, uh, this Wind Sanctuary to max, we're gonna be fine. Pretty sure that's the, pretty sure that's the case. We gotta upgrade all this stuff anyway, so. Yeah, we gotta upgrade all that stuff anyway. But let me show you guys the runes real quick. Actually, let me show you guys the runes in here in this spot. That's pretty cool that we didn't have to, like, go through and go crazy on everything. Um... Like, change it 5,000 times, and then fail, and then change it 5,000 times, and then fail again. Uh, but these are the runes, again, for the Lucian. It's not, he's not even, uh, well, he's not maxed on skill 1, but it doesn't really matter. That crit damage is so low. That's so low, and we're almost able to clear it with the crit damage that he has, right? Speed crit damage attack. These are not, like, this, I think this was a rune that the game gives you or something like that. I don't know, it's not even that crit. Like, this one's okay, I guess. But these runes are not, like, super premium G3 runes that I'm showing you guys. So, yeah, skill 3 crit damage is 9. We could definitely do better than 9 if we just farm for some more artifacts, right? So, uh, there we go. This one is um, one skill up. Just one. Uh, she is on speed. Atta so, I just needed... It's not that she needs to be attack. Uh, I just needed to have a certain amount of speed on her. So, she's on a broken side of the Like, we can stick... Um, if we had some more speed... Eh, she's got some 23, 24, 24... Right, because we're doing we're we're doing the one where she laps. So uh, yeah, she just needed good accuracy. She needed to be fast with good accuracy. It'd be better if she she because she doesn't need this attack. So it'd be better if she had like HP. And again, she's only five star, right? So not that uh, not that crazy for the second Melia. She is violent fight, right? So she's violent fight. She's got a couple skill ups into her first skill, but not anything crazy. This is uh, not even maxed rune. This is uh, okay. So that one's maxed. That one's maxed, right? These runes are not anything super amazing like that. This is a five-star rune, right? Not anything that people can not ever get anywhere in their entire lives. Oh my god, nobody can get these runes. Um, we just needed it to be this specific speed. Tanky, because they're doing all their damage through continuous damage. We just needed a specific speed on the units and very high accuracy, right? We need the turn order to be correct and very high accuracy. We have Tattoo on. Look at this, she's got no skill ups. Tattoo is on HP. HP, not maxed, and defense, right? So just to needed to be a certain amount of accuracy could be better because she does still have continuous damage over here. And then she's got a glancing. Well, she actually has a continuous damage here too. 
So that could be nice for extra accuracy there, but um, she's mostly here just to incinerate. Like, that's the that's the thing. And then she's got some fight sets because I wanted to make sure Lucian did some damage. This is skill 2. Oh, skill 2 accuracy. I did put some accuracy in the uh, in the artifact. But you can see it's not like, wow, you, no one can ever get these runes ever, right? And then the Soth, he's not... Like, the Lucian's 6-star uh, max level. Uh, Tattoo is 6-star max level. But these Melias are not 6-star max level. They're 5-starred. Right? Soth is not even max level right now. He just needs to be. <laughs> Five star runes. Not max runes, guys. Not max runes. So it's not like super and uh, no skill ups, right? Not super unattainable. Just got to make sure that everything is the correct uh, speed tuning. Very important. Try to make sure Lucian does as much damage to clear the waves. And we're going to get even faster. As soon as we upgrade that tower, um, we're going to get even faster. So... Uh, or, or if we can get some better runes on Lucian, which with faster teams, we should be able to get better runes. But just upgrading the tower alone, just farming Arena. So we got to actually put a uh, uh, poo, -poo, uh, poo poo defense on Arena so that we can farm more effectively. So let's take this uh, defense and let's put... This was winning. It was crazy. I just put like a defense. I actually put that defense to test things and it was winning, which is... Crazy. Let's just put this guy there. Yeah, let's just put him there. Please hit us. Please hit us. But anyway, um, that's it for this one. I just wanted to show the team, show the building of the team. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope that you guys got something out of it. I'm trying to think if we need to show anything else. I think that's about it. I mean, we showed the team. We showed building the team. I feel like I feel like I'm missing something. So you know I couldn't just leave it at that, right? I had to keep running it, I had to keep testing it, I had to keep seeing where the snags were, because you know there's always going to be some snags, right? So uh, since we're not running on shield and will runes, uh, interestingly enough, a lot of people like to run it on double will. I didn't find that we, because because uh, the boss will defense break and then wipe your team, right? So I find that we didn't have problems at the boss stage. We had problems when Lucian doesn't do either skill 2 or skill 3, on those waves with the crystals. Those were the things that were uh, giving us issues, right? Those crystals on the left and the right for waves one and three, where they can just, if both of them don't get uh, either killed or CC'd of some kind, like uh, slowed down so that you got, your team can take more turns or stun, because Lucian's uh, second skill will uh, potentially stun them as well if he doesn't do the amputation magic. Um, also, the Melia and Tattoo. Melia can do skill three, uh, sorry, skill two, and then uh, Tattoo can, you know, nuke those waves as well. So that's another, uh, that's another win condition for those waves if Lucian does an amputation magic. So the issue was if those waves don't get CC'd or killed, those crystals will blast your team, right? So that's really the issue here. We can take a look at the, the record over here. Uh, 45, 48. Like I said, uh, did I say we got a new best time of uh, 40, uh, sorry, 36 seconds, which is nice. Uh, for the most part, the team's doing okay. However, those waves, and that doesn't, if, if the waves blast us, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that the run is done, that the run, like, we wipe the run. That just means that the run's going to have some extra issues, right? So we're getting some 40s. We got a uh, minute and five because most, most of the team died. So what we're going to do is we're going to wind up putting one of these units. Uh, I didn't find the need for the will rune specifically. If we get CC'd or defense broken, it didn't seem to be the end of the world. It's just like a little bit of a delay, right? So we're going to take one of these units um, and put it on... Uh, prob we're, well, we're definitely going to put something on uh, double shield, right? So I think we're going to put this, not this one. I think we're probably going to put this one instead of uh, violent and fight. We're going to switch it to double shield just to give us a little bit of added protection against the uh, the crystal waves, right? Because the, the crystal waves, and this might be a, uh, a little bit less of an issue if we had earth friends completely. I think if people have earth friends completely skilled up, Right, harmful effect rate plus uh, plus ten plus fifteen cool time turn minus one for this uh, decreased attack speed and uh, their attack bar by fifty percent. Right, so if Lucian does an ant magic, she can still do the Earth Friends. We don't have a whole lot of access to this skill because we don't have these skilled up. So if you have them skilled up, that's not going to be an issue. So to prevent against that, since we don't have them skilled up, uh, I think we're going to put like I said, I think we're going to put the double fight on um on this this melia right uh and then the uh, or not the double fight uh sorry the double shield 
on this Melia, and then it would help if she was six starred with the double shield as well. And again, it's not a it's not a failure state necessarily. It just makes the runs take longer if like the because the Lucian is the squishiest one, right? So the Lucian is the one most prone to dying. So, um, but I mean, uh, overall, it's like it just takes makes the runs take longer if uh, if that happens. And sometimes it does fail if that is the the case. But I think that I think the best uh, the best course of action is going to be doing the double shield. And I know people like to do if you want if you want to do some double will and then one set of shield and not the fight runes like I did the violent fight. We don't need, necessarily need to do violent fight. I did the fight so that Lucian could uh, clear those waves because we have pooper runes. But um, one thing that people like to do, and I just I, I think it's important to mention, is is people like to do some double will and shield on some of these Melias uh, to prevent against the control and to also prevent against uh, dying. So that makes it even more successful, even more reliable. So if you guys, we'll probably wind up uh, changing this up to maybe double double uh, double will shield maybe in the um, in the next video or whatever, and just like recap this. Uh, for whatever we do next, but uh, we'll see. So far, it's been running fairly good. I think sh double shield might be the thing that we need to do, uh, and might just be fine. Also, we could upgrade the 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 gosh darn runes, guys. I mean, look at this. We're not the the units are five star. They're not even upgraded runes, so uh, that would also help. But just something I've noticed from running it, and running it, and seeing where the snags are. And those snags are from not really from the boss. The snags are from the crystals. Uh, wiping our team if we don't amputation magic or if we don't do skill twos with these melee. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, finish it off. Uh, finish it off. Let you guys know that that is the uh, that is that, that's the situation that I've kind of found from doing it like this. So anyway, and of course we could double shield. We could do some double wills. We could do some uh, six star of the units, right? We could max these things out. Uh, we could put some, and then we get to put artifacts on if it's six star, right? So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Just wanted to mention those things. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you as always in the next one.